it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this mini briefcase. Now I've made a larger one and you guys loved it so I will share a little um, drop down here for that one if anybody's missed it. But I was just going back through some of my tutorials and I thought actually it'd be quite nice to make a mini one. It's using the new Fest Edition, um, what is that one called? I need to get used to this one, Forever Free. So um, I'll show you that one in a minute but it's gorgeous, really bright, colourful, clashing colours which I love. But it opens up like so and then inside you've got a nice space to fill with any goodies you want. So, you know, it will fit lots of nice jewellery and makeup and, and bits and pieces like that. But I've also decorated the back and I've used the, these are some of the dies, the small little um, dies that I received with my trim craft delivery. And I just thought, we always forget about the backs of our gift bags and I thought this was quite a nice way to just add you can see that I've layered them up, so I've die cut every one three times and then stuck them on top of each other. So there's actually some dimension on there as well, which you can see. But I think it's things like that that just kind of really finish it off. And this is one of the labels that come in the pack as well. So I just fussy cut that, matted it on some orange cardstock, the same as the flap here. And again, it's just a nice way to tie everything together. And these are stuck on the front as well. Okay, so that is what we're gonna make. Pop that to one side. So this is everything here. And this is the paper pack. So this is Forever Free. So it's kind of replaced my Fiesta Fever, which I absolutely loved. And that's, this is all my scraps. But these are one of the papers you get, have all these on. So I'd already gone and kind of fussy cut them ready, you know, to for projects. But look, look how lovely these are. Perfect for, you know, gift cards, um, sorry, uh, gift box toppers. And, you know, for quick cards, just to say hello. Congratulations, is that lovely? Dear there so yeah lots and lots in this paper pack and it is beautiful so that's the one that I'm using today and then the cardstock you're going to need so the ones these are those little dies so I showed these in my unboxing video so these are the simply creative dies and I used the tiny little champagne and glass and the balloon okay but today I'm going to use this one here with love and you'll see why in a second but I've already die cut it so I die cut it three times and stuck them all together and you can see now got a strong almost like chipboard little embellishment and you can see there the word with love so I've already done that one because you didn't really need to see me do that okay so let's just pop these bits to one side and talk you through this here so for the main bag itself you need a piece that is 8 by 12 okay then you'll need two pieces that are 3 by 6 and these are for your sides then you'll need one piece that is four by eight, and that's for your flap, so your closure. Then to mat on top of that, so to decorate it, you want a piece that's seven and three quarters by two and three quarters. And you can see that's going to sit nicely on there. And then I've got these two strips, which are three quarters of an inch by eight, and that's the purple. And you want two of them, and that's the bit that runs along here. Then to mat on top of that, it will be, I can't measure it that way, can I? Let me grab this ruler. This is a piece of half inch, half inch by eight, okay? And then for the handle, I might do this one a bit longer. So this was ten and a half by one, and then the decorative piece on top is, uh, what am I looking at here? Um, five eighths of an inch by ten and a half. Yeah, but again, you know, play around with it, it's entirely up to you. So some scoring, what we need to do is on your main piece here, along the 12 inch side, you just want to score at five and seven. Okay, so two easy peasy score lines there. Then on your, your kind of lid, the flap, this is the four by eight piece. Along the four inch side, you want to score at one inch, okay? And then on where you scored at one, the opposite side to that, you can see I've just corner rounded the edges there. But again, that's optional. And then you'll have these two pieces that I said, which were the three by six. What you want to do is along the three inch side, you want to score at half an inch and at two and a half. Then rotate it and score at five, okay? Then rotate it back, you don't have to do it this way, I don't know why I said that, but you want to score at one and a half, just down approximately to three and a half inches. It doesn't really matter if you go further or not so far down. All it's going to do, it just helps us 
you can see here you don't have to do I decided you don't need to do that score line but it just helps you bend it in so we're going to do these triangle score lines in a moment okay so that is everything so get rid of your scoreboard keep these pieces here and with your metal ruler however far down you've done that middle score line you then want to go from the bottom of that score line across to the bottom left and right corners of that piece of card so where you hang on if I just do this and then bring it up you'll be able to see I just bring there we go so that was the bottom of that score line that center score line that I said it doesn't matter how far down you go wherever it is you want to start scoring from there down to the bottom left and then the bottom right all within that half inch these kind of half inch sides don't go you know across here you just want to stay and it's above that score line there okay again it's just like how I do all of my fold flat um, gift bags this one doesn't fold flat so we're not going to do this score line you would then do a score line there but we're not going to be doing that today because it's a small bag anyway so I didn't feel it needed to fold flat okay so while we've got this piece here we need to now make it like this so you just want to burnish all of your score lines okay and then you just want to cut the two bottom left two bottom the left and the right hand rectangles just remove those completely again like so okay and then just take little wedges off of all of these kind of ends and that one there and then again at the top just slightly not a lot you just want to take a little kind of wedge off of each side there like so that also one side and then what you can do is then just kind of bend in that middle score line and then where the triangles are just kind of lift it up and bend it across and you just create those two sides okay so that's that piece then that one we'd scored so we can just burnish that's the lip and then the base we've got those two big score lines so you can just burnish both of those okay so now keeping your main base what we're going to be doing is with these side pieces this bottom flap here we're going to add glue on and you're going to stick each one down to the edge the base there of your bag so for example grab this one here and with your glue you can use double sided tape for this you don't have to use wet glue mine seems to have clogged up there we go if you're using wet glue don't go really close to the edge you know it will kind of spread out so I've kind of you know you don't want it kind of splodging everywhere and Tombow can be very very tacky so I'm just going to stick it down and you're lining up this score line of the fold you can see here with the edge of your bag so lift it up and just push it out until you get a really nice join like so I'm just going to grab my bone folder just spread out that glue Okay, so now when I bring that up, you see you get a really nice join, and that's what you want. So do the same with the other side, and again there you can see now, I'll just bring that one up, so that's what you should have. And then you just want to start sticking all of the sides down, so fold one in, in one of your tabs. Again, you can use double-sided tape or wet glue, it's entirely up to you. Just pop it on one of the tabs, and then bring that up, and bring, whether it's the front or the back, doesn't really matter at this stage, and just make sure you get it joined perfectly and you get it you can see there you shouldn't really be able to see that it's it's you know separate cardstock unless you're using different colors because you've seen that before i've used different colored on my sides to the front because that does give a nice effect as well but you just want it to be really super neat like so okay so do that on the other three corners Okay, so that's now what you should have. So we've just got this kind of case at the moment. And then grab your flap here, and that is going to go. So decide what one you want to be your front and your back. I think this is going to be my front, and I'll keep that as the back. And that is going to, you need to glue, flip it over, and add glue within that one inch kind of tab. And then I'm going to flip the whole thing over, and I'm going to do it from this side here. You just want to lay it down. And just bring the top of the bag up so it lines up with the score line of that flap so bring it right up into that one inch kind of p 
piece that we've put the glue on. Just want to cover all of that. Again, with your bone folder, you can just go in there and just make sure everything's nice and secure. Okay, so you've got a really nice finish there on the back. Next, we need to decorate everything. So it's all pretty straightforward from here. So I'm going to grab this piece here, flip it over, and again, you should have a nice one eighth of an inch border. Love this paper, it's absolutely gorgeous. Just flip that one over, like so. And then I've got these strips here, so one is going to go along the bottom, like that, and then the same on the back. Okay, then that's done. I've just remembered I forgot to cut the piece for this. You can see there I've put it on the back. It's entirely up to you, but if you do want that piece, it will be, so that was one inch, so it'll be three quarters by seven and three quarters. Okay, I'll cut that off in a bit. And then I've got my handle. So like I said, I did do this one longer and I need to also add my Velcro dots. Okay, so I've just got some here. Just get my pair together and then just pop it in the centre of the, my lid and then just make sure everything lines up and then push it down and then carefully then you can just make sure that they're really secure. Close that first because then it makes the handle easier to attach. Okay, so I have gone a bit longer with this one. I've already stuck that piece on top and then I just want to kind of curl it a little bit, like so. And then with your thumb on the top, just bring it around and that's what you're going to have. That's how your handle will be. And basically, it's going to stick behind. So can you see, there's a shorter one. So that's a shorter handle and this one's going to be a little bit longer. Can you see? So again, it's entirely up to you. So that was ten and a half. For this one then, I'm guessing, must have been eight maybe. Oh, and that's what I've done. I stuck that piece, stick the handle down first, okay, like so, and then with that piece of decorative paper, then stick it over the top, and then it just covers that all up, so you can see there you get a really nice finish. But this must have been, I'm saying, uh, four, kind of roughly... <laughs> yeah eight inches in fact I remember now it was so I think I'm just going to cut this down because I do quite like that mini length so I'm just going to hack the end of that off there we go and yeah it does look cute it's got to stay shorter so I am going to just add some of my wet glue you will need to hold it in place because the because it's only a short handle there's a, there's a bit of tension on it and you want to come in at two inches so at two and then stick that down. So I've covered about half an inch down, okay, stuck there with glue and then come in two inches. So I'm just going to hold that one there in place first. Okay, so that's that one stuck and then you're just going to pop your glue again about half an inch down on that next one and pull it around. Like I said, it will be a bit, I've got a really strong cardstock, but you just want to again come in about two inches like so and just hold that one in place okay and then I've just cut that strip which was seven and three quarters by three quarters of an inch and that is going to stick perfectly over the top and I think just by adding all those little details just really makes the bag special so while I'm on the back I'm gonna just pop a little bit of glue on this bit here it's going to be great for Valentine's Day, this dinky little heart, I love it. Okay, and I think I'm going to put this one up higher this time, so I'm just going to make sure it's in the centre. How lovely is that? What a nice little touch. And then I have just gone and taken all the backing off of my lovely big tag here, which says love, and that is going to sit. Just need to make sure I get it nice and even. Uh, there. I love these tastes, the tags that do it for me and they've got that kind of shine to them as well but it's just instant gift bags, I love it. You can't buy that in the shops. <laughs> I think that's why I'm so addicted to making gift bags but look at that, it's so strong. Like I said, you've got you know, your mats and layers and everything on there so it does, it kind of really you know, strengthens the bag, it's going to hold 
some really nice bits and pieces and there's the other one how fun are they gorgeous absolutely love these so i hope you've enjoyed them hope i've inspired you and um, like i said all the links to everything that i use will be in my blog post and you can find that always below the tutorial so please check that out it does tend to go up a little bit after all my videos are always scheduled but my blogs i do right on the day so I tend to do them in the evenings but they will be there so until next time guys i hope you've enjoyed today please give it a thumbs up if you have and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more thanks for watching bye